it's Sunday again. Imagine that. Another week's gone by, and... <laughs> now we've been pretty busy, uh, keeping busy here in the garage and, and, and at the store. Uh, I had a really good... I had some really nice footage of Monday's auction already in my phone and downloaded it into my computer and my editing software doesn't like it so every time I try and render it uh, just shuts my computer off it just get a blue screen a orange screen a black screen as soon as it, it would go through my start up here that I'm doing now only I have to do it because I don't have any uh, auction footage in the, in the video as soon as it would hit that footage out of my phone it would stop and end right there so there's nothing I can do uh, I had to had some had the settings in the phone really nice where I could I could really got some some nice pit nice video I should say of the uh, full screen and for some reason, my editing software just does not like my phone. They do not want to play nice together. So, but uh, I did all the after I got back from the auction of everything I bought with my good camera. So, I still have all that and, and we'll go, I'll, we'll go over everything that I bought. <laughs> kind, of, kind of a toy moment there. But tomorrow, I'm not taking any chances. I'm taking my good computer and I'm going to use it. I don't give a shit what anybody says. You know, I don't care if I'm walking around and, and taking videos of stuff and I'm, I'm talking to my camera and all that. You know, People think I'm weird. Well, if I talk to my camera, uh, it'll just confirm that I am a little, a little nuts and a little weird. But I don't care what they think. I don't care if they like that I buy stuff that they want. If they want it, they can buy it. All you have to do is bid on it. Bid higher than me. You know, my pockets aren't that deep. I can buy stuff, but, you know, I know when to stop where I'm not going to make any money after that because everything I buy at that auction is mainly for a resale. And a lot of it, uh, there's some stuff that I collect and my mom collects. Uh, you'll see in this video of the footage of what I bought of some stuff that uh, we buy. Well, I pay for it and then it goes to my mom's house and... She uh, puts it in her kitchen and displays it, which I don't care, you know, anything ever happens, it's, it, it all goes to me anyway, so no big deal. And she likes the stuff, she wants the stuff, so I buy it for her. What the hell, you know, it's kind of a little bit of a payback of putting up with my dumb ass for 56 years. And... And my, you know, my dad passed away, so she's, she's by herself now. My mom's 77. And she just, she's by herself. She loves going to the auction because it uh, gives her something to do. That's why on Mondays, usually we take off and go do something. Uh, this weekend, this Sunday, or no, Monday. I'm sorry, that's why we take off every Monday and go do something. I may have said that, but I, I don't remember. Uh, we're going down to our store uh, down at Leaper and I'm gonna take my camera along and I'm gonna show you the building and all that it, you know everything inside's all covered up I'll show you the inside of it and then uh, when we get down there uh, I think we're gonna go down probably we open up uh, the first weekend of May so we're in the middle of March uh, so next month uh, we're going to have to get down there and start uh, getting everything uncovered and cleaning everything up 
uh, you know, I, I have to fix, fix some things, level some tables and stuff like that. You always do after the winter because of the freezing and thawing. And we'll, and after I get everything uncovered and all that, and when we're open, I'll show you again, uh, kind of a before. I'll do a video before, and then later on in April or 1st of May, I'll do a video after. So we're going to do that on Monday, and then we head to the auction Monday afternoon. Uh, they have pictures up of what they're having this Monday, and it's uh, there's a lot of stuff, but uh, you know that's that's what it is, stuff. And last Monday there was just there was so many people there. Uh, everybody is really ready to get started and um, a lot of people now that you know aren't able to work they're going to the auction and buying stuff and putting it on marketplace or eBay or stuff like that there's a lot of people that do strictly eBay that go to um, this auction now um, TC the pack rat you'll see my uh, card card right up in here somewhere or over in here somewhere or, or up in there somewhere I'll put a card up there for TC the pack rat he does a lot of uh, thrift store and auction finds uh, he's always got a got some neat stuff that he shows on his channel go check his channel out a uh, good friend of mine uh, he he had a actually he had a pinball glass that was sitting on his porch forever and he didn't know what the hell to do with it and I told him, well, I, I work on pinball machines and all that. And he looked at me and says, hey, can you use an extra glass? Uh, hell yeah, I had one sitting here that didn't have a glass. So, kind of kind of worked out good. Uh, he kind of he buys 45s and albums. I think he likes albums more than 45s. I want 45s for jukeboxes. And, and he wants albums because he, he either collects some albums and he resells them. But... If you get a chance, go check his channel out. He he does a lot of fun stuff over there, too. He's like the rest of us, you know, that does this. We're all a little weird anyway. But who the hell knows what weird is anymore? <laughs> to some people that are weird, that's normal. So, But whatever. Um, also in this video, I went up to Erie on Monday. And I bought something. And... Uh, the videos after the footage of um, auction stuff that I bought. Uh, take a look at that and stick around to the end because I'm going to show you the inside of my warehouse as to what I have uh, packed in my warehouse outside. So stick around, uh, get through and you can take a look at that and then I'm, I, I run my mouth at the end of the video as well. So, hey, this is what I got at the auction on Monday. And yes, I bought him. I didn't think I was going to actually let him go somewhere else where they wouldn't like him. <laughs> I paid three bucks for it. I bought it for my wife. <laughs> uh, we like Kitty, so he's a cute little guy. <laughs> Tell you what, we'll set him right up here. He can, he can watch over us. Okay, I did buy that box with the with the Revere skillet in it. Um, this is the newer Revere, and, it, you know, it, it's dirty, but I'll get it all polished up. It'll look like new when I'm done with it. Same with the lid. That lid's really crusty, but we'll get her cleaned up. Uh, just a piece of wooden crap. That'll, that'll go in the dumpster. And there's going to be a lot of dumpster stuff. Well, no, not this time. I don't think there's going to be a whole lot of dumpster stuff, but I do have some. I do have some dumpster stuff. 
uh, under that uh, skillet and that serving tray, whatever you want to call it, was a box of cookbooks that I wanted. Uh, we we sell quite a bit of cookbooks uh, during this whatever you want to call it. I don't. I really don't care what you call it. Um, people are finding out. Well, let me see. I, I should say that you know people. People are staying home more. And they're not going out to eat. So they're finding out that they can still cook. Uh, the problem is, is over the years that um, people haven't bought anything to cook with. You know, people were so, were so busy that they were on the run all the time. And they were always eating out. So... Uh, you know, they weren't buying uh, new pots and pans and, and new stuff to cook with and prepare food with. And uh, they, they can cook, but uh, now they don't remember how to do stuff. It, it's just weird that um, this year, or last year, I should say, uh, more people are, are back in the kitchen and cooking. That's why our stuff is selling so well. You know, if you... If you set up at a flea market or you've thought about setting up at a flea market or you want to set up at a flea market, I would suggest kitchen stuff as much as possible. And uh, linens. Uh, I don't know what the deal is with linens, but they're buying towels. If you can get good towels, you can sell them. Because, I don't know. It's just, it's different. Yeah the past year. Like I said, this is a good box of cookbooks. Um, I think I paid $7 for this box. Uh, all the cookbooks in it, um, I kind of went through them a little bit. I'll let my wife go through all the all the recipes and see if there's anything in, the, in just the loose recipes because, you know, people don't buy loose recipes. They want books, recipe books. Uh, they want to actually, or probably some of them would actually like somebody to ju just come and cook it for them, but <laughs> that's beside the point. But yeah, there, there's some good there's some good cookbooks in here. I may take a little longer than what I should on some of this stuff, but I want to explain to you why I get some of this stuff. Uh, I looked through this box uh, kind of briefly earlier, just uh, when I was at the auction to see, you know, what was in there. Like I said, I paid seven dollars for for it. Uh, the skillet alone will pay for the pay for the box. That skillet alone, the new Revere, I uh, should get probably ten to twelve dollars just for that um, skillet after I get it all cleaned up. Uh, the box of cookbooks. Uh, there's probably another fifteen to twenty dollars in cookbooks in that box. That, uh, after I'm done selling them, you know, but you don't sell it all at once. You know, it'll over the summer stuff goes, so that you just kind of stock it up and keep it going. Okay, another thing I I showed you I was this little stereo. Uh, this little Curtis, it's a little CD. Stereo has the speakers with it. Uh, I think there's. I don't think the CD player wants to. The door wants to stay closed on it. Uh, but I. Let's. I'll take a peek at it. Let me get the tape off of it, and we'll get the. Uh, I hate when people use stinking tape on everything. Although I shouldn't complain, I do it too. There we go. Okay. I don't think it wants to stay down, but everything's here. The little mechanism and the knob is not broke off. It might be a little, might be a little war. But we'll get it fixed. And yeah. 
but that this is another thing um, people being home more I've noticed that our that these little stereos and radios sell quite good and another thing is because I'm um, where I'm set up at where I have my building there's it's a tourist area so there's a lot of campers up there and a lot of cabins and people are they buy these little stereos and radios and stuff like that for in the cabin for when it's raining and they're stuck inside uh, last year they were stuck inside more than ever they went to their cabins but they were stuck inside because they weren't allowed to go anywhere <laughs> weren't allowed to do anything and I'm not going there so and all these CDs came with it came with this little stereo they were you seen they were stacked kind of piled on top of it and I figured oh well they'll sell the they'll sell this uh, the stereo and the CD separate because normally that's what they do but this time everything was together it was all piled on the stereo so it all went together with the stereo a lot of classical music in here like I said I wasn't really worried about the CDs I didn't care I was kind of hoping somebody would buy them because uh, I don't have too many people that well I don't know never know now you know piano symphony uh, Telemann Arthur Rubinstein Fred Astaire Muller Muller 8 Salty Rachel, Rachel <laughs> Podgers, Antonio Vividi, er, Tony Coplin, another Mozart Symphony, Morton Gold, Christmas Songs by Sinatra, there you go, there's another Beethoven, there's a Beethoven anyway, Stratford Shakespearean Festival, the Oscar Peterson Trio. Tell another Telemann. Uh, concert, hmm, Constantino for violin and orchestra. And another Mozart. And another Mozart. So you can see there's a whole ton of classical music that came with this. I paid $10 for everything. Uh, the stereo alone, I get the, get the CD door fixed. And as long as everything works on it, I think it's got a radio. Yep, AM FM radio on it too. Nice little, you know, nice little shelf stereo. As long as the CD player works on it, I'll probably get uh, I'll probably 20 bucks for it. Uh, the, the CDs, I'll be lucky if I can get 50 cents or a quarter out of those. But I'll, I'll put them out in a pile and they'll stay out there for two weeks if they don't sell then they go to the Salvation Army and somebody else can deal with them I won't throw them out <clears throat> because they're they're good CDs and you know somebody may want to uh, listen to them just not me that's I'm not there's a, a little bit of classical that I I can listen to but uh, most of that stuff is no <laughs> All right, so, yep, I got the little stereo that I showed you. Okay, this box up here I didn't show you because I didn't see it. Uh, some, my mom pointed it out to me. Uh, it has these little custard cups in it. Uh, these are Pyrex custard cups. These uh, we can't get enough of. Uh, we as many as these as we can get we sell. Uh, down there we have a lot of 
um, caterers and restaurant owners that come in and buy from us. Uh, you'll see why one of these days when I take you down. Uh, I think there's a video uh, way in the back of my of my store down there. But I'm going to post a new one because I, we've added stuff. But uh, we have a lot of caterers and restaurant owners that come in. A lot of the caterers and people that are having weddings, they use these during, you know, for the weddings and, and catering for custards and puddings. So as many of those as I can get, I will buy. And in that box, you know, there's some, just some probably some junk that I'll probably throw out that, that you know, that that's nothing. Uh, here's a bread plate. Uh, if you don't know what a bread plate is, these you, th you stick them in the microwave, you heat them up, and then you put it down in your basket and put your bread on top, on top of it and it keeps your bread warm. That's what those are for. So if you ever see these things uh, sitting around, it's like, oh man, that's a weird looking plaque. No, it's a bread warmer. Uh, there's this uh, ugly looking vase in here. And that is a, oh, that's a Hager. <laughs> yeah, Royal Hager. That one, that's a decent piece of pottery, but selling them is, you know, just, you, you can't. So, that'll probably, I'll probably send that to the Army because I'm not going to throw it out. It, there's nothing wrong with it. There's no chips in it. There's no runs, no cracks, just some um, crazing on it. Uh, I don't know. I may look it up and see if it's worth anything. I doubt it because it's a pretty common piece. Uh, here you go. There's a, a, one of those dressing, salad dressing bottles. <laughs> yep. I know where that's going. And don't know. Piece of acrylic. Ross. Well, that's toys. <laughs> Wonder if there was a an action figure or something mounted on that. Little piece of shit light. Hmm. It's one of those ones that you can stick in your closet or whatever. I just didn't come on. Yeah, come on, it works. Let's see. Oh, there's the there's the manual for our uh, little stereo, and uh, and I found a remote for that little stereo too. So that's pretty cool. What do we got here? Here we go. Inch and a quarter drywall. Nails. Ah, oh, some dry tights. And uh, a box of finishing nails. Well, you know, we're keeping those. We'll keep those around. Uh, just a little wooden little tri wooden trivet. And how about those? Aren't those special? Tarzan, yeah, Tarzan and Ox Turkey. <laughs> well, uh, yeah, I'm not sure if those are skewers for shish kebabs or or what those what those are. That's it. That's it. That's it for this box. Like I said, these are keepers. Uh, the rest of this, I'm not sure about. Uh, the bread warmers, I can never, I can never sell them damn things. But at least, at least now you know what the hell they're for. Custard cups and a couple other things. Uh, I paid ten dollars for this box. Uh, when all said and done, <laughs> I'll probably get ten bucks. <laughs> You know, this wasn't a good buy. This was just because I, I need these. And to keep my my customers happy, I buy them. And they can come in and, you know, I'll sell them. 
sell them to them. So that's that box. I know everybody wants to see this box that I bought of the old stuff, so I'm going to bring it up now. Uh, here's a nice piece of a ruby. These, um, a lot of this stuff is Fenton, but some of it isn't. Fenton is so hard to find the, the markings on them, but it, it it's just pretty. Oh, uh, got some little little refrigerator dishes or uh, ice cream boats, whatever you want to call them. I think they're not old, but it's Pyrex. But Hopper, it's Pyrex. Okay, now here I showed you this set. On the table in the front room. Front room, that's where all the antiques and all the all the good stuff goes. Kind of like where the fern gully goes. Uh, this set's in really good condition. It's yeah, you know, it's dirty, of course. Uh, I got auction tag in here, and the yellow sticker in this is meaning that there was a silent bid put in on the. Somebody left a bid. They came and looked at the crap, and then they they turn in bids, and then they they go home. Yeah, you know, which is that's not fun. Fun is staying and battling for the stuff. Instead of having somebody else bid for you. That's the lazy man's way. Or lazy woman's way. Whichever the case may be. Got to stay politically correct. Okay. Uh, this set. Uh, the Red Bull. Is the one. That. Gets used the most in these sets. You can see that. Uh, there's a little bit of fading. What happens to these. Is people put them in their dishwasher. And it, it just destroys the color in these. And there's a few scratches. But this one, this Red Bull is um, in better condition than most of the ones I have. You know, you can see a little bit of scratching through here. But it is dirty. It may look a little better after it's cleaned up. It's still, still filthy. But this is the one that always gets beat up the most. You'll find these sets, you know, the green one, the green one is really nice. The yellow one, same thing, is really, really nice. Because the big one doesn't get used much. You know, you can see it's not even dirty around the edge. Neither is the, the green one has a little bit of grease and, and that left on it. The red one, that's a different story. That sucker's crusty. Not that bad. I, you know, I have found them a lot worse. And the little blue one, you can see it's been sitting, how nasty it is on the bottom, and the sides, and the top. You know, they used this one, but not, not like the red one. The red one always gets beat up. That's, I keep iterating that. So if you find a good red one, you, you have something. Uh, I paid $55 for this set of bowls. Um, most of the time, with that, with the way this, the condition of the red one, I can get $125 for this set. It's, uh, if you have the red bowl that's perfect, it's upwards of $150 for this set of bowls. But I'm not selling this set. This set goes up on the shelf. It gets cleaned, and then it goes up on the shelf. This will make, I think, three three sets yeah three sets of uh, the, these colored mixing bowls I have now or I should say me and my mom <laughs> I, I buy it I pay for it and then my mom <laughs> displays it in her kitchen <laughs> so I, I don't care it, it's there and if anything ever happens I'll, I'll, it'll goes to me anyway and let's see these little, let me see if I can get them out without breaking. Oh, there's another piece of ruby. Here, another. That is the, see you can tell these are old because it has bubbles 
in the glass. Those are flaws. A lot of this is uh, hand blown and handmade. Uh, this is the vinegar cruet or vinegar whatever for your dressings. And this is just a little drinking glass but it's ruby and that, that ruby stuff's kind of hard to find. And then uh, some more colored uh, refrigerator dishes is what we call them. Uh, you, can, you can call them whatever you want. There's a couple of these. these. These two same thing. These are old. That's an old pattern. You know, and these two go together. Uh, in really good condition. No, the, the lids aren't chipped or anything. I think I showed you these uh, in the front room. Uh, I showed you a little bit of that um, ruby. There was a ton of it there. And probably uh, mum was bidding on it. So it it probably was probably going a little too high for what she wanted to spend. Um, I spend more than she does. Uh, if it's something for myself to collect, I buy it. It's just the way I am. But those uh, those are twenty dollars. We paid twenty dollars for those. Um, those probably fifteen bucks a piece is what. You, well, probably fifteen. Yeah, fifteen now. God, I'd have to figure that one out. It's been a while since I've uh, found too many of these. Usually, the last one I think was thirty for the big piece and ten for the small piece. So you know, it's like forty bucks. So you 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 make a little, you double your money. But they go up on the shelf, and then every they just increase in value every year. Same the ruby. I'm not sure about the ruby, how it does. And these, like I said, these are new. This is new stuff here, but that's something we can sell. So I know that was probably one of the items and boxes that you wanted to see if I did get that stuff. So we'll move on. Okay, uh, I don't know if I showed you the corral in the, uh, as I walked through, but uh, I always always buy corral. Uh, this is, I'm not sure what pattern this is. I really don't care what pattern it is. All I know is I buy it and it sells. And same thing, there was a dot, you know, the blue sticker, meaning that somebody had put in a silent bid on it there there's some uh the big bowl uh little bowls some uh dessert plates i guess you call them and some serving and some regular dinner plates in here there's some there's some junk in here this is what the hell is this uh filor de less i think that's what it is Silure de Les, which is, in other words, it, uh, these dishes are what you call leverite. If there's a box of them, of all this stuff at the auction, you leave it right there. Hence the name, leverite. Uh, there's a bunch of that stuff in, there, in here. There's some iron stone that's going to get pitched, some plastic junk, and and a piece of nothing that'll that'll go in the dumpster as well. There's some dumpster food in here in this box. Uh, there's about twenty-four dollars worth of uh, corningware in here. Is what I'll get every not corningware corral that I will get out everything. There's a salt and pepper shaker in here but the, the chrome's peeling off of it so it's junk. Um, yeah, 
and I think I paid eight dollars for this box and coffee cups are the hardest thing to sell people don't I don't know you're lucky if you can get 50 cents a piece out of a coffee coffee mug the other box of Corel same thing I'm not sure what the pattern is like I said I don't care what the pattern is because it sells so, uh, uh, dessert plates uh, or bread plate dessert plate whatever and some dinner plates uh, all the coffee coffee saucers and there's six uh, coffee cups in here same thing coffee cups just you have a hell of a time selling them. There's about $18.50 worth of uh, Corel in here. And I think this box I paid $6 for it. This next box. I think I showed you that box. Because of the one book that's in here. Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. We sell books uh, down there, but they don't, they, they, you know, they sell pretty good. If you can get the right authors. Uh, I mainly, I buy them. I let my wife read them. <laughs> and then I take them over and sell them. Because she loves to read. You know, there's some good authors in here. Some Mary Higgins Clark. Uh, there's some old stuff in here that it's probably going to be dumpster material. Like this one. You know, cover it. It's all falling apart. Huh. What do you got there? Get out of there. There you go. Old postcard. Ah, uh, let's see. No date on it. Let's see. Hi Mary, haven't heard from you lately. Hope sweeties doing all right. We have a new phone number. It was changed from have a nice day. Looks like licking lappy. <laughs> uh, this is from, this went to Irving, Texas. Ah, there we are. 1927 is the postmark on that. So you know that's been floating around for a while. And there's one thing you should always do when you buy a box of books. Check the books. Especially if they're old books. A lot of older people hid money in their books. Uh, let's see who we got. Oh, there's a James Patterson. Don't know. Living, living, loving, and learning. Yeah, that's that's dumpster food. Braca's brain. Carl Sagan. Never heard of him. Uh, there's some little novels here. Let's see. Deadly as the diamond. Emily Dickerson and out of body travel. There you go. Out of body travel. Ah, uh, who we got here? Taylor. Oh, Taylor Codwell. That's a good book. That one sells. Emily Hayes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And, oh, yeah, Colleen McClaw. I think that's how you pronounce it. Uh, she's a good author. That. That sells. Uh, John Gresham's The Firm. John Gresham's sells, but this is an old book. That one will sit around for a while before it gets before somebody picks it up. James Patterson. Uh, Sandra Brown. Yeah, that's another good one there. Uh, Lavere Spencer. I uh, haven't had too many of that of his. Robert M. Prasegg. 
Uh, pers yeah, pers Persig. Uh, Janelle. Yeah, Janelle Taylor. Sometimes. Okay. Harlan Kolb Coben. Six years, huh? That one's interesting. Uh, Inferno, Dan Brown. Bury My Heart at Wounded Knee by D. Brown. Yep, somebody will buy that one. That's a, that's a decent book. And Emily Loring for All Your Love. So, this one, like I said, I wanted this box just because of the Harry Potter book in it. Harry Potter, let's see, what was it? Oh, shit, it was only $6.99. But probably get two bucks out of it. And the rest of these books are some dollar and dollar fifty books in here. Uh, Mary Higgins Clark, usually a buck and a half. So that's six dollars. Uh, James Patterson, let's see, seven fifty. Nine. Ten. Probably eleven. Thirteen fifty. Fourteen fifty. Fifteen. Fifteen. Uh, Seventeen. There's about twenty dollars in books in here. And I what I I paid five bucks for this book. Or for this book. I paid five dollars for this box of books. So you can see, you know, books you can sell books. They they sell. But they have to be good authors. Uh, I seen you know, there was the four Mary Higgins Clark in the in the Harry Potter book and I, I knew I could spend about five bucks on it and and I'd I'd be alright because there's some maybe some fifty cent dollar and doll, other dollar fifty books in here because there's some good authors in here. So that's that box of books I bought. And I've got one more box to show you. And we're done. You're probably saying good. Uh, this was another box that I, I didn't show you because I didn't see it. I was kind of had my... I was uh, looking at some other stuff. Uh, the one guy at the auction come up and pointed this one out to me. So I I went and got it. Uh, well, I bought it when it came up. Uh, Corningware. There's the two pe two small pieces. Uh, I'm not sure what that pattern is. It's that one. This is uh, Corning. Got a measuring cup. Pie plates. You always sell pie plates, especially if you can get the ones that are fluted. Those ones sell better. But come... Uh, around baking time, Thanksgiving, you know, or when, I, and like I said, people were, uh, people were baking more, period. They're canning, they're baking, they're cooking, uh, so any of this stuff uh, seems to be selling now. Here's a little uh, glass bake casserole. I'll clean that up. Uh, I paid ten dollars for this box, and there's, uh, what, three... There's about fifteen dollars worth of Corningware and other and Pyrex in here. So you can see it was it was well worth the ten bucks. And I should, might might even be able to get more. I I kind of know some of the prices of this stuff. I let my mom price it. I clean it and then she'll price it. She knows her Corningware. And her Pyrex. So, you know, there may be more more than what I'm saying in here, but that's just my assessment at the moment. Okay, so that's what I ended up with at the auction. And, of course, you know, we gotta got to get him in there again. That's what I got at the auction last night. Uh, I may have some other things coming up that I'll put in this video. Uh, 
and hopefully I can get it uh, rendered and uploaded. Uh, if it's long enough, it'll take forever, but uh, who cares? I'll go ahead and do this one. I'm kind of ahead on my videos for everybody. Uh, just waiting for some parts, and I'm just doing some other things for you. Okay, folks, I just got back from uptown and thought maybe I'd give you a, a shot at what I bought here. I bought a 30 inch uh, bending, bending brake, yeah, metal brake. Uh, what I am going to do is I'm going to mount this up and we're going to make pinball machine back doors find a place where I can get the sheet metal. I could get it cut to size, but uh, I'm not totally sure what size I'm going to need. So it's going to, I'm just going to order some 36 by 36, which is cheaper than ordering the exact size. So let me get a knife here. I can't get my knife open with one hand. I'll walk over here and steal one of my knives over there. We'll take a take a look at this. And our paper, of course. And yeah, there's the shoe. Oh man. And there's our brake. It's all in there, so we'll we'll get this set up. I gotta find a good place to to mount it. Like I said, I only needed a 30, 30 inch because those back doors. I'm gonna take a walk over here. Should only be like 28 and a half, 28 inches. I think they're 28 by 25 like 25 and a half so 28 if I cut them down to 29 inches and put a half inch to 5 eighths lip on it I can make a really nice back door for the pinball machines like I said we need one for the Bally uh, Monte Carlo and the Bally space time okay I had to bring some stuff out to the warehouse so I figured I'd kind of show you and I was able to get in. Wasn't that much snow piled up in front of my door. So I had her cleaned up so I could get in there and put some stuff in here. This, <laughs> this tote is nothing but Legos. There's nothing but Legos. I bought this tote for I think it was uh, $75 and it was just chock full of kits and loose Legos there's a lot of car kits in here uh, I have some of the and you know, some of the kits haven't even been put together you know that's Eight, you know, you have to kind of eight, nine. I do have some of the books for the kits. Uh, they're in the in the garage, uh, but I, I went through. You can see, and I separated every stinking Lego and put them in little bins. I don't even know what's in this. Not more Legos. All those boxes, all those little totes, tubs and everything are, are different color Legos. That was fun. Took me about a week to, to sort them all out. But got them done, got them separated. 
uh, haven't decided what to do with them yet. Okay, inside the warehouse here, you can see we got, uh, I got a bunch of toys to sell. Uh, I take them over. Uh, toys don't really sell that well, but I, I, I do take stuff over. Uh, I don't even know what's in that box. That's not even opened. Oh, that lock and lock. Mixing bowls. Brand new mixing bowls there. Got a big roaster. The big roaster I'm kind of saving. Uh, might have something else going on in the works. Along with the big slicer sitting back there. I see my batteries flashing, so we're going to have to move along here pretty good. Uh, more more corral. Uh, those are all my stock pots. Uh, those are the lids for my stock pots. 20 quart, 20 quart stock pots all down through there. I have some 32 quart. Oh, I have some new nor new yeah. new nor pro. Up there are some LED uh, trailer lights. Squeeze the ketchup bottles, a clear and uh, and I have the red and the yellow are up in there. Uh, more of our used stuff, uh, Tupperware, a lot of Tupperware, some more books. Uh, over in that corner should be all brand new Pyrex. Uh, same with on this shelf here. There's some sheet uh, sheet pan lids. There are quarter sheet pans, four cases of them up there. Sugar shaker, egg slicers. Uh, like I said, and here's uh, my uh, larger sheet pans. Those are the the full. Those are the full grates for in my sheet pans. Half sheet lids, more stock pots up there. Uh, there's uh, there's the full sheet pans, tarps and bungees. Oh, piano whips or whisks, whatever you want to call them. Pizza pans, dough scrapers, all all my uh, serving utensils are all up in there and all down through here too. And this box here, that one's not even open. Yeah, that's uh, nothing but pasta presses. And there's a whole, whole tote down there for ball bungees. And these totes are going to be all full of Tupperware. Silicone baking pans. Uh, there should be some more silicone up in there too. And as you can see, my warehouse is getting a little little jammed and I'm bringing more stuff out to put in here <laughs> but a lot of this stuff uh, will get cleaned up and uh, we'll take down as much as we can and put out the new stuff we have all this stuff out there all the new stuff's already out on out on the tables and everything this is just all stock that I have in here uh, crinkle cut uh, choppers you know, ladles uh, salt and pepper shakers. Uh, let's see. Oh, okay. Eight quart silicone bottom mixing bowls. Five quart, three quarts. Some of this stuff I got to remember what the hell my abbreviations are. Small cheese shakers. Box of t shirt bags. <laughs> yeah, we don't sell those. Here's all our piano whips. Piano and French. Uh, more ladles, spatula, or not spatulas, but servers, uh, white handle and wooden handle. Uh, I have big ones, the T93s. Most of those are those big grill, grill size. They're about um, 10 to 12 inches long for your grills for your, and griddles. Uh, there should be a, oh, uh, I think there's a, should be a pile of brand new tarps back in there too. Those are the lids, uh, three quarter sheet pans. Sheet pans. Ah, some seven and a quarter carbide saw blades and ten inch for table saws. Like I said, brand new, brand new Pyrex in here. I have a lot of brand new Pyrex in here. And there's a whole, whole case of rubber bands. I'll tell you a little story about the rubber bands. I ordered 10, 10 rubber bands, 10 bags of rubber bands. Not knowing that 10 
meant each one meant a dozen bags. So what I ended up with was 120 bags of rubber bands. And I was thinking, oh crap, man, I'm never going to sell that many rubber bands. I started putting them stinking things out. And I'll bet out of the 120, I bet you I only have 80 left. And that was about midsummer. Here's our colanders. We have some colanders in here. Uh, flower sift snifters. <laughs> There's the full sized. Ah, we were looking for that this winter. There's the full sized sheet pans. These ones are are dented and bent. Those will only fit in a commercial oven. You cannot get them in a in a regular house oven. These ones are bent and we'll use them. You see, they get damaged in shipping. So we'll use them. Use them for something. Ah. That's some of my gaming stuff over there. Hmm. There's the Atari 5200 I showed everybody. Should be two of them in there. And a brand new Nintendo. There's a Nintendo still in the box down in there. And a Super NES down there in the box. Alright, my, my battery's flashing. This thing's giving me hell. I need to shut it off. So that's that's what I picked up at the auction, and about well, the Monday uh, earlier that day we went up the area. I bought the bought the uh, metal brake, and then uh, we spent most of the time up there up in Erie, and then we come back down home. Uh, we got home. It was probably about 1:30, so. And then about 2.30, we take off and go to the auction. I like to get there early so I can really go through this through the stuff. Um, I take you through and show you everything. And then when I'm done with that, then I go back and really look at stuff. But, you know, like I said, I still miss stuff. You know, there's just, you know, you, you miss stuff uh, when you're looking. And then when the auction's going on, then you're wondering, whoa. Is there, is there something on that table I wanted? And you try and get over there when there's about 60 people all huddled around this mass of humanity around a table and you just, you, you can't see, so you just kind of, oh well. Uh, I guess I wasn't supposed to get it anyway. Because evidently I can't get in there to see what's there, so, oh well. You know, in my mind, I can I kind of know where the stuff is that I really want. Uh, I missed, well, I didn't miss, but I, I that little road grader or that little um, bulldozer or whatever it was, a little Tonka, I did want that, but I think I paid $7 for it, which is way too much without the tracks on it. So, you know, I was okay with that if he wants it. You know, I didn't even get the bid. He just they run that uh, table up to about seven bucks, and he he grabbed that grater and something else that was on the table, and it's like, okay, fine. So that's what I do on Mondays. Um, if you like seeing me go to the auction and going through the stuff when I bring it home, let me know in the comments, and I'll continue to do that. Uh, this will post on Sunday. This is the Sunday episode, so make sure you write your comments in because on Monday I go back to the auction and I'll be buying more crap. So make sure you leave a comment and let me know if you like seeing this stuff from the auction. Uh, I think after we're done with the jukebox, I got a couple other things that I'm, I worked on. 
and not game related so I'm, I'll post them it's just a couple of items that I worked on and it'll be one video each and and you know some more you might get a kick out of it or you might like to see me doing something more than this than the than the, than the video games and our, or should say the arcade games and pinball machines and jukeboxes but uh, this this week coming uh, we should be able to get that jukebox finished up the Rockola 480 Technica uh, started getting some parts in for it they started trickling in uh, so we can, I'll be working on that this weekend. Er, I, I worked on it last weekend. <laughs> Since this will post on Sunday, I'll be working on um, Rockola on Saturday. Yesterday. <laughs> and try and figure that out. Uh, so uh, hopefully I'll have that all buttoned up and everything will be done on it. And we can finish up that series uh, next week. And following week, maybe we can start something new, get another new project in. Uh, which I'm still not sure what, what's next. But I'm sure it'll be fun. They're all fun, no matter what you do. So if you like the video, hit the like button. You know, the same old shit. If you're new here... Subscribe to the channel, ring the bell, and I'll bring you more, more of these videos. Until next Sunday, for Sunday episode 6, see ya. <laughs>